Welcome back. Nick up here at Maple Motors in Hendersonville, Tennessee. Yes, about 15 minutes north of Nashville. You can check us out at maplemotors.com. See all of our inventory. This week, we've actually got a lot out already. It's Tuesday, which I'm, I'm recording these videos ahead of time. It's Tuesday, and uh, man, I think we listed 10 cars last week. We've sold eight of them. This one's still available. People were wanting the video like crazy. A lot of people will come in and buy the cars in person. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, well, how do I get ahead? How do these people see the videos before me? They don't. They all come out to a day. 70 model Chevy Monte Carlo 350 power steering, power brakes. Looks like a little bit the seal there. Our thermostat is leaking. I don't think it's significant though. I think it's when you cut it off. Paint job looks pretty. Nice tires on this one too. Decent looking interior from what I've seen. Dual exhaust out the back. What we're gonna do is check this car out. Look for chips, scratches, dents, rust at the end of the video. Be sure to stick around for that. And uh, again, I'm not secretly pushing out videos or not. People are walking in, in person, and buying these cars ahead of time. But if I can get the video done, I'll list them either way, even if they're sold. And uh, the only videos that I will premiere from now on is sold cars. The rest of them will come out throughout the week. You won't know when they're coming out. I had too many people arguing on here about the premieres. They didn't like them. I don't, I don't know why. I'm still going to schedule the videos, and I'm going to put them out two a day. So, you know what? It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Checking out the interior before we leave. I started it up for my cell phone video, but yeah, it starts up nice and easy. Showing the mileage, it's on the dash. We got some foggy gauges there. Wipers do work. Radio. Trying the blower motor too. I don't know how to cut this radio on. Maybe this? Nope, radio is not functioning. Blower motor is not working. Aftermarket gauge there. We'll keep an eye on it. Old pressure gauge. Seems to be working good. Paperwork in there. That's nice. Headliner, mechanics headliner. Somebody replaced it, but they put it in themselves instead of sending it to an upholstery shop. Place those bets. Do you think the horn works? Haven't tried it. All right, ready? It does on both sides. Now we're gonna stop and get gas because that gas gauge is on E right now. So let's hit the road and see what else we can find on this one. Gotta keep rolling, baby. If I can get the right seatbelt on here. She's got a low idle. Alright. Now this is the first time that I've driven this one, so let's go check it out. I had it turned all the way, a little squeak on the power steering there, but only because it was turned all the way. Here we go. She definitely got pep. She's got a left pull too. She's kind of drifted across the middle lane there. Steering's tight though. Could be tire pressure. Getting in the throttle, the kick down is hooked up on this one. Getting in the brakes. Pretty smooth, not bad. Speedo. Seems accurate. We get a little bit of gas. Now guys, when these cars come in, we take them back to clean up bay. We do some upgrades to them, not fixing all the little stuff, like the radio, like the blower motor, your wipers. We don't fix that kind of stuff, so if they work, they work. If they don't, they don't. Uh, and this is how the car will be sent to you, however it is in this video. That's why I do these videos. You know, unless I say different, which means we'd fix it. Like last week, we had a Roadrunner uh, found a gas leak mid video. Took it back, they bought a brand new gas tank, put it in. That's definitely nothing we play around with. Uh, and a lot of the safety stuff we go over and check. Some people seem to think we do nothing at all, but it's not true. We actually do a lot, but we don't have a crazy markup either. Our markup's definitely a lot smaller 
than your average car lot. But we sell 60 a month here that way and it works very well. Been doing that for over 40 years, so I'm gonna keep it rolling like I said when we started. Now it's dead on E. So let's see if the gas gauge works. What do you think? I don't know, we'll find out. Alright. We got twenty dollars worth of fuel in this one, but it does have the locking gas cap. I'll run ninety-three in all the cars. Let's see, twenty dollars gets you almost five gallons. It's creeping up slowly. See the cap in there? It's kind of dirty though. <clears throat> all right. Okay, starts up good. Now we do have half a tank of gas, so the gas gauge is working. Let's take off. Wide screen looks weird on the outside of the car, don't it? But when you get in, look how awesome it is. Woo, you can see everything. <laughs> Man, I had a guy pull up in the middle of this video at the end. I'm trying to walk around. I was like, sir, yes, yes, sir. And I noticed immediately he was intoxicated. Uh, it just happened, so, you know, sometimes you got to deal with that. But he got on out of here. I was like, Man, you like his car? Oh, I don't know what he said, but then he, I said, go to Maple Motors, just go up there. And I called the guys. I was like, hey, guys, going to be walking around the lot and he's going to leave me alone though. <laughs> but I did end up having battery trouble and he was trying to help. And I was like, please don't. Battery is bad on this one. Uh, reason I know that, I just jumped it off. My pack said it was dead. So when we get back to the lot, we're going to get value craft out from under the hood and put something decent in there, like an AC Delco or a Duralast. And I'll probably change out the connectors on top because they're just the old uh, AutoZone connectors. They look old too, they, they need to be changed. So we'll go ahead and do that, add that to it. I gotta get the Chevelle done when I get back. Try to get all this done. We got an hour left. Yeah, 
Engine temperature is at 190, oil pressure is sitting right at 20. When you give it gas, it jumps up to 40. So average 20 right now without touching the throttle. And this temperature here, they both look like they're working good, so. Bump on the road right here, give her a listen. Sound like loose change underneath. Did you hear that? Ching ching. Maybe y'all can figure that one out. What's that noise? That one guy looked like he was going real fast. I thought he was gonna run the red light for a second. All right, we're gonna pull into the lot here. I gotta grab a, sh a black Chevelle and get it done. I thought it was already sold, but the guy said, hey, I wanna see this video before I pay the rest of it. I get it. That's all right. So I'm gonna make that video and then I'm gonna end up putting it on this weekend as sold. Well, he might back out, you never know. A little pop from the front end when I turned there too. Did you hear that? squeak into power steer but that's only if you turn all the way guys thanks for watching i'll see you later Chips, scratches, rust, and dents. Let's get started. Headlights nice and clean. Grill on this one looks pretty good. And down the side. A lot of little specks in the paint. <coughs> Got a crack right here. A couple bubbles up top. Little bubble in the corner there. Specs in the paint again. Spot there, coming back to your midsection. It's got little specks everywhere. I don't know. I kind of wonder. They're in the paint, I think. No, the more I rub on it, the more it comes off, so. It's just dirt or something. Pitting on your handles. Again, that's that crack, those little bubbles. Over the top here. A little haziness going on. Ding here. Little cracks. Windshield looks good. Crack here. Sorry about my shadow. It's going to be in the way. Getting this close to the car. Little crack there. Seal looks good around the window itself. Down the back. Around our back window of the trim. Now you got all the carpet in the back. It looks like somebody added that. It's 
faded a little bit. You got some bubbles popping up at the bottom. You got a little rust popping up down there. <laughs> All right, coming around the back end, you got some little cracks in the back bumper. A little rust popping up, chips. Pitting around your tail lights. Over in the corners here. And your jams. The seal there. It's been replaced. You got some rust popping up in the corners. And you got some patches in the trunk. You can see where they've welded some spots. All in the trunk there in the side. Chips all over on the edges. Welded some more patches back over here. And on this edge as well, you got some patches. Got an amp back here, I guess, for some speakers. Package tray's not bad. They've got rock guard on the trunk lid. Thick paint. down this side there's a bubble in the paint in the corner there might pop out eventually down this side tires decent shape around the fender well looks decent you got some cracks there on the inside it's probably some bondo you can see bondo on the side there as well the bottom a little chip there chips on the edge of the door Mid section. Got a lot of these little black spots popping up on the sides. They're wiping off though. I don't know what that is. Some kind of dirt. Some there too. Pitting on your handle. Spots in the back here. Trim there, it's got a spot popping out. Cracks in the paint, cracks up top. Back window is pretty clean. Thing in your trim there, up top here. Seal's been replaced on the door, so that's good. All right, we're gonna check out the interior real quick. Let's see. Bottom of the door. Underneath the door. seat itself got some wrinkles there but I just stretched it out edge looks okay carpet in this one it's a little faded gap there Back seat's got a stain in the middle, but that could be cleaned up. A little stain there. Now, like I said on the headliner, that's a mechanic's headliner. Somebody replaced it, but they didn't get it tight. And your package tray's homemade too. You see, they just put some carpet up there. All right. Now on this one here, the battery needs to be fixed. So, I'll have to get back with you here in just a second. We'll start it up. Well, I'm just showing you because I'm going to replace it. When we get back to the lot, brand new cable's going on. 
or uh, cable ends. I'm going to clean all this stuff up right now, get it going. Uh, I haven't actually had an issue, but I did notice that it wasn't turning over. And that guy pulled up. He was, I, I don't even know how to say it. He was intoxicated. But, <laughs> yeah, I had to pause the video. <laughs> so, I'm going to clean this up real good. Uh, and then I'll start the video right back. No reason in y'all watching me. Okay, after all that, I think the battery's dead. Because I pulled up my boost box, which I bring with me just in case. We sit her on boost here. Which I love this one. If you haven't seen this one, you can find it below in my description. It starts diesel trucks. It's kind of big, but hey. Just so you know, I mean, I had a, I'm pretty sure that battery just went bad. It's called Value Craft, so watch this. That thing started so fast. <laughs> but got the connections cleaned on it. Uh, I just need to put a new battery in it when I get back. Okay. Let me clean up my messes. Listen to the motor real quick. And yes, you'll have um, new connectors, new battery. I'll do it myself when I get back. I got a Chevelle to do after this, but no biggie. I try not to hide anything throughout my videos, so if I ever have stuff like this happen, I'll usually just throw it in the video. It's an old car, so if you don't know how to work on an old car, I don't suggest buying an old car. I mean, pretty simple. All I did was take these two bolts out the nut, and just cleaned it with a cleaner. I didn't even have a wrench, so, and I got it done. Of course, when I go back to the lot, I'll be using wrenches to be twice as fast. Motor's pretty quiet on this one. It seems peppy, too. You can see it's actually drying up in there. And I bet you once the motor cools back off, you might have some leakage going back down into the valley there. But, no biggie. Yeah, I love this little jump box. I've only had to use it once before. And I haven't charged it since I got it. So, that shows you how long it lasts. I'm going to put it back in my handy dandy backpack here. Uh, again, I'll put that link below. I know you've seen those before. They're lifesavers sometimes. I'm going to get that same exact one and uh, take it and put it on a boat. That way I don't have to worry about it. Let's go ahead and shut this hood down. You can see up underneath you got some paint chips. Bubbles on the edge. Guys, so far I actually really like the car. I just need to put a battery in it, clean the cables. Other than that, it's a good driver. Uh, detailed pictures, finance, and shipping at maplemotors.com. Go there, check it out. And hopefully there's not a whole lot of haters over on here about a dead battery. Otherwise, I wouldn't put it in the video. I'm not asking for haters. I'm just showing you how easy it is to work on these. And we do work on them, yes. I don't know why people would think that all we do is buy them and sell them. Now, I'd say that happens. But like, that would be like those two uh, early model Camaros, like the 99 and the 2002. Those cars we can get away with just washing, vacuuming, cleaning, selling. Now these classics, we like to check them out. I mean, we just go all over the cars, see what we can find. Give us a call, 615-822-4444. We are our are all family and we've been there over 40 years we'd be happy to help you out and i'm sorry this one was so choppy at the end like i said that guy pulled up and was saying saying gibberish that's all right i'm gonna cut the camera off that's not good i'll see y'all in the next video later guys